Hi everyone, it's me Keith. Welcome to another computer related tutorial. For more tips and tricks regarding these topics, please feel free to subscribe and hit on the notification button. Okay, let's go! Hi everyone, it's me Keith again. This time I'm going to teach you on how we are going to put SAMP localhost online. First, we need to copy this link right here. So this is where we are going to download the software or not a software but a tool. So just paste it in our Google Chrome. Then click on the download for Windows. You need to have a Gmail account registered with you for this one to be downloaded. Start download. Once downloaded, we're going to locate the file. It's in here. I'm just going to open the folder where I downloaded it. Then I'm going to copy that file and paste it on my C drive where my SAMP is located. Be sure that you already have watched the previous video before watching this one. Then I'm going to extract the file here. That's it. This is ngrok by the way. So I'm going to delete the zip file. I don't need that one anymore. So I'm going to open this one. Uh, let me close the other windows to prevent confusion. Next is we are going to connect our account. So to do that we are just going to copy this one. Don't include the dot and the slash. Okay so just this part copy it and paste it on our command line where's the command line again this one just double click or right click on that one run as administrator so you can paste it in there 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 is some sort of a message in here that we need to expose the port 80 so later on I'm going to do that for you guys so I'm just going to paste it then it's saved the configuration is okay I think this one is working but we need to check on the port later on i'm going to explain that one to you guys so the next thing that we are going to do is just to type uh this one ngrok.exe http then type the port number okay so once you have seen this one then automatically it's working well Next is we are going to run our SAMP control panel. Be sure that this one has been installed already before you are going to deal with the other one. So this is the SAMP control panel. I'm just going to start the Apache service as well as the MySQL service. I'm going to minimize this one. Next is we are going to test. Okay, we are going to test a website or a simple local website uh, remember this one this is the port by the way port number 80 so that is the port that were that was asked a while ago when we typed ngrok.exe http 80 okay so whatever you see in there that's the port that's what you're going to follow so next is we are going to open the SAM folder and of course the htdocs folder. Now under the htdocs folder, I'm going to remove all the files in here. Those are some of my website files. I can do that one later on. I can create that one fast enough. Next is I'm going to type, uh, let's say index.html. So we're just going to create a crap, crappy page, okay, in here. So again, I'm going to open this one with my HTML editor, which is Atom. This is a free software, by the way, guys. So once it's opened, I'm just going to close the other tabs. Disregard this text. Type HTML slash HTML. And type everything else. I'm just using the classic coding in HTML, the basic HTML4.
now I'm going to type localhost let's let's first test that one locally so it's working well I'm going to edit a couple of features here so I'm just going to change let's say uh, font size I'm going to change this one to something like mm, 6 would be great it's big enough change the background color save this one again there it's working well now the next thing that we are going to do is to test this one online so let's say you have a client and you want your client to see it right away without paying anything for a hosting site so all you need to do is just to copy this part right here paste it there hit your enter key on your keyboard it might take a while wow okay so there you go it's quite fast actually so let's try to modify this one I'm going to change the color instead of green to yellow and change uh, the face to something like Arial save it minimize this one and refresh so as you can see it's working well and it's already online okay so you can test this one guys and that's how easy it is to put your SAMP localhost site online using ngrok okay so subscribe for more and we will be creating new cool topics for you guys bye for now okay guys i hope you have learned from that one so if you have any requests and other topics that you have in mind please feel free to message us and of course hit the subscribe and notification button for more updates okay so bye for now